Here is some information that you should have about what's happening. Before the start of the conflict, Israel arrested approximately 800 Palestinians without charge or trial, killed nine civilians and raided nearly 1,300 residential, commercial and public buildings. Hi Russell, I like and liked your video, and I see many other people did too. And looking at the amount of views that your video got and the other one about the same topic, Israel and Palestine and Sean Hannity, it looks like it'd be a good idea to make another video about the same topics. Because it's obviously more effective to reach millions of people when you're trying to accomplish a goal. That could help make things better if enough people took action. My favorite part of the video is when you did what I was hoping you would do, and that was read some facts. For example, this part. Israeli security sources who spoke on condition of anonymity assessed that Hamas had probably launched the barrage in revenge for an Israeli airstrike several hours earlier which killed one person and injured three more. And that's one of the facts that I've been trying to get to millions of people. Here's what I said in a previous video. Hamas publicly protested the assassination of its guy and responded the next morning with a barrage of its own rockets. These were, by every account, the first rockets Hamas had fired since the 2012 ceasefire. I'm quoting J.J. Goldberg in the foreword. And as I say, I think you could see Hamas's view that Israel killing one of their members in an air attack is Israel breaking the ceasefire. And one of my recent videos is about an action that Chomsky actually suggested to get the word out to pressure the U.S. government to adhere to its own laws as far as the Leahy Law, which prohibits the continued military aid to Israel. That's an arms embargo, and there's a basis for it. U.S. arms to Israel are in violation of U.S. law, direct violation of U.S. law. U.S. foreign assistance law bars any military assistance to anyone, country, unit, whatever, engaged in consistent human rights violations. Israel, with U.S. backing, is carrying out constant crimes, not only in Gaza, but also in the West Bank, where it is moving systematically with U.S. support to take over the parts of the West Bank that it wants and to leave Palestinians isolated in unviable cantons. And you could help get that message out. You say in your video description you want links to news items. This is not only a news item, it's also a suggested action where people can contact their representatives and their senators to demand that the U.S. government cut off all military aid to Israel. With your help, Russell, we could potentially reach millions of Americans using a tactic which Noam Chomsky recommends. And that's my message to you, Russell. And my message to everyone else is please use the YouTube tools to share this video with everyone you can, because sharing does work. To get the information that I presented in this video out to as many people as we possibly can.